Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Monday, August the 21st. These are the charts of the day. Well, after an opening um, drop, the markets came on strong all day and closed near the upper end of the range, although the last five-minute profit-taking pullback prevented it from closing at the high. Nevertheless, a good day for a lot of stocks we follow. Let's start with Swing AAOI, which popped out of the three-day falling flag, or four-day, actually. Uh, um, jumped from 1317 to 1559. Finished 1544 up 264, a 20.6% gain on nearly 8 million shares. And it looks like if it gets up through the 16 range, we can see 2021 even in mid to high 20s. ECHR, beautiful rising channel, continued to break out of a coil that took about a month to develop. And today popped from 621 to 747. It finished back at 7 up 84 cents, nearly a 14% gain. Fine was a heavy 27.3 million. I'm expecting a run through to get it up to about eight and three quarters. <clears throat> CAPR popped today after a three day respite, jumping from 694 to 784. Finished 775 up 84 cents, a 12% gain. Just 265,000 traders, very thin. But you can see the way this looks. This might very well run to $9. ELTK, after a, a two month of consolidation pullback, after a monster run that saw this go from under four to 11 the stock then pulled back into that seven range consolidated double bottom to break out today with a pop from 764 to 918 pulled back close 880 up 115 a 15 percent gain it looks like if it gets up to today's high your target's going to be 11. eypt um another new multi-year high uh, that's the 1820 month high at this point my target's going to be about 19 to 22. GCT coming out of a long base pattern today spiked or popped out of a two-day wedge, jumping 11.24 to 12.94, finishing 12.75, up 121. That's almost a 10.5% gain. Nearly a million share traded, targeting now 16 and 18. IDAI, looks like this one's still in a rising wedge, and if it breaks out, it's going to go vertical, four and a half and six targets. IDYA popped out of a flag today. Pulled back, but still managed to close above the breakout point with a 61% gain, just 2.5%. But I like this for a move to about 30 and then 33. <clears throat> NVIDIA with a huge pop today for this stock, nearly 40 points after hours now, up near 473. Um, and breaking out of a month long consolidation, we traded the tracking stock today. NVDL, which jumped 11 and three quarters, it's 97 and three quarters after hours. Uh, the high back here was 1142. We're not far away. May test out tomorrow. An immediate target, 11820. SG Sweet Greens coming out of a falling worst today popped 94 cents or 7 percent. Volume increased to 2.6 million. Now looking for a retest of 16 and three quarters, and maybe size 19 or better. SOS exploded on 60, 6.4 million shares. Went vertical from 4.30 to 9, more than doubling. Finished 8.24, up to 3.75. 82% gain, by far the biggest winner. Looking at the overall chart pattern of the last year, you'll see a long inverse head and shoulders with key resistance up around 9.5. If you get through that, you might be looking at something in a little bit of teams. TSAT exploded. Put a swing on this one that went, uh, broke out a few days ago. The pullback was nice. It exploded again today. How about 14.16 to 19.20? Finished 19 up 4.32. Nearly 30% gain today. Volume was 2.4 million. It's thin. This one looks like 22.3 maybe he had. Tesla and its tracking stock. Tesla rebounded off the trend line. Going looking back here, near the key long-term trend line. The low yesterday at 12, 2.12.36 is my stopping point. Um, the key is can I get to resistance at 40 and a half? If so, looking at 2, 2.58. From 240 and a half. And TSLL, the tracking stock popped from 12.97 to 14 and a quarter, finished just two cents off the high up 152 or 12%, looking for a follow through to 16 and 18. And finally, excuse me, Tupperware snapping back now for two days after a huge thousand percent run. It did about a point, almost a 50% fit retracement, and now bouncing for a couple of days. My targets three and three quarters, four and a half. And finally, US Steel with companies. Swirling around them for takeover. I think this is going to be a done deal in the high 30 somewhere. Stay tuned. We're going to find out soon. But this wedge tells me if it pops out above 32 and a half, we might see a quick 35.6 area. 
and then maybe even higher than that. That's it for tonight, everybody. Have a great evening. Bye now.